everybody. So, just in Big Lots real quick. Um, looking around, because you know you can find good stuff at Big Lots. So, I just wanted to see what they have in here today. I'm on my way to return something to Target. We had bought a Wii remote um, controller for our Wii. But it wasn't compatible. So, I got to return that to Target. And then, make a stop at the fish market to pick up some... Um, blue crabs and some crawfish so and then later on we are going to the movies like we said we was going to do yesterday but the timing issues y'all seen the vlog y'all know what happened so stay tuned Asia at the crib right now she's doing some work so stay tuned for that um, see you guys in a bit I just left the fish market they didn't even have the blue crabs so I know Asia gonna be pissed off but I had got more um like an extra pound or extra almost an extra pound of uh crawfish so she should be good with that we trying to keep it light because you know the movie is the dining the dining watch or the fork and spoon or whatever it's called where you eat inside the theater so we should be good for tonight so now she just texts me she wanted a sweet tea from mcdonald's on the way back so i'm gonna pick that up for her and then i'm heading back to the crib and we're gonna do that get dressed and then go out so i'll see y'all later so I'm back home now. I'm good. Yeah. Yeah, back home now. Miss Asia. What up? She's on the computer out here. We got the crawfish on the table. Mm -hmm. And we're about to do them dirty. Napkins. You ain't get no napkin? Mm -mm. I thought you pulled one. No. So I told them we're doing a dinner in the movie tonight. Yep. Anything you want to say before you uh, get busy with this stuff? Um, just want to say, hey, y'all. Yeah. Nice so, to be outside. Enjoying this beautiful weather. And then a new video for y'all for my main channel. Yep. So. Dang. You be pausing. I'll be thinking you're done. So, yep. That's it. Yeah, so. Also, if anybody in the Atlanta area, if y'all know where they sell um, blue crab for um, a good, decent price, because I know it's getting to the to the season, um, let us know down below. Because um, I don't like going in spots when they when they out. I want to know who got them all the time. So let us know down below. Right? Yeah. I told them you was gonna be pissed. But they didn't have none. No, I wasn't pissed. Uh, I really wanted some though, but maybe I could get some later on in the week. Yeah. So. We'll see you guys in a little bit. So we're in the dining movie theater. Here's Hubby. Yeah, we got it to ourselves private, you know. I rented it, I rented it out for. It's so like ain't nobody else up in this movie. I have wanted to thank you for saving Here's the menu. They have some good food. So we are holler. We don't want to get put out trying to be recording it here. Bye. Hi guys, so we just left the movie. We saw Temptation and I don't want to ruin it for anybody that didn't see it, but I thought that it ended so stupid and I didn't really feel, I wasn't feeling the movie. What did you think of it, honey? Well, I don't know. Like Tyler Perry be always making some crazy ass movies. Like. <laughs> What I just want to know what Tyler Perry's obsession with HIV and AIDS is because in for colored girls, you know, you had you just want to bring awareness. No, I know bring awareness, but I don't know. It was just too many elements. It's just he wrapped every problem that you have in the world into one couple. It seemed like in his movies. I don't know. His movies are still good. I. I go back to the plays. I used to love the plays yeah. when they used to do the plays and stuff. But um, the stage plays. But I don't know. That was a lot of stuff going on yeah. in that. But I don't understand. Like he went. I don't want to tell a movie for people who haven't seen it. But if you've seen the movie Temptation, I know we like a month late on it. But let us know how y'all felt about it down below. I, I, I read like a bunch of like mixed re like reviews on it. And there was a bunch of mixed reviews on it. A lot of people were saying they liked it. A lot of people said they didn't. A lot of people said it's too much. It's stupid. Whatever. It was good. It was great. Let us know what y'all think it was. Um, 
for me, I just think that he he tries to. It's kind of like overkill. It's just a bit too dramatic for me because it'll be like so many different elements, like the infidelity, then the drug use, then the abuse, then the you know HIV. It was just like so many elements too many elements too much drama too much overkill I feel like a movie what's that the ticket for the I feel like a movie where he showcased you know like they were first loves and things like that yeah thank you sweetie they were first loves and you know then she was being shown something like they were together for like 20 years I feel like he could have showcased that you know, her wanting something different, the different experiences, and that would have been enough. I think that that would have been something that would have been realistic to couples or whoever the demographic he was going for, but the all the extra elements, I know you have to make a movie, but sometimes less is more. I think that with Tyler Perry's movies, he needs to realize that less is more sometimes. You can still have the same storyline and plot in the same message and lesson without it being so much drama you know yeah but I mean it was a good movie the food was pretty good there so yeah the food was pretty good and it was a good movie I like the setup it's a bit more intimate I guess because the theater isn't so huge so there's not so many people in there yeah, so overall it was good. But um yeah, that was That's just the thing with it was just a heavy movie though. That's why I think we never it's not a sense of urgency for us. We're not like, oh we need to hurry up. We always end up seeing his movies like a month or two late because it kind of leaves a sour taste in your mouth and makes you think like, oh, he's just gonna do too much. Love you though, Tommy. <laughs> so anyway, we on our way back home now. So, definitely, if you guys seen it, comment down below. Let us know what you thought of the movie. Oh, you want to show my outfit? <laughs> I didn't want to, but since you said it. Okay. Hi, guys. So, we're home now. We were debating about that damn temptation. <laughs> all the for the whole ride home so yes we're back home now it's pretty late it's after one o'clock so we're about to you know go in the house and chill or whatever and yeah what you gotta say boo yeah it's trying to camp can you move your hand it's not in the way huh? yeah but um yeah, it's 1 o'clock on Monday night. Well, it's Tuesday morning now, so people that be like, it ain't late. 1 o'clock ain't late. It's Tuesday morning. It's late for a weekday. Um, but, um, yeah, like she said, we've been talking about this movie the whole way, talking about different scenarios, how people how people um, live in their lives and everything like that. So, like I said, comment down below if you've seen it. Let's open this discussion about the movie if you've seen it. Like, well, how did you feel about it? If, if do you know anybody that was ever in those situations? Because we do, like some like bits and pieces, like yeah, not, not all at once, yeah. but we all know people like that. Let like how does how did it work out? Like, just we're open the discussion. Um, so just leave the um, comments down below. We'll read them and respond. And um, until the next vlog. We'll see you guys later. Bye.